Charismatic leadership. What is it? Pros and cons. Examples of charismatic leaders. How to use this style in your leadership. You will learn all about it by watching this video on the charismatic leadership style. I've met many different types of people during my leadership career. People as well as leaders have different personalities. Every now and then, you meet someone that feels almost magnetic. A leader with true charisma can definitely impact people in ways others can. This video is brought to you by leadershipahoy.com. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. The charismatic leadership style can feel like magic. A charismatic leader can mesmerize his or her followers. This leader can get a loyal and highly motivated following that are passionate about fulfilling their goals. But is there also a dark side to charismatic leadership? Can a charismatic leader use these skills for bad deeds and to lead the followers down an evil path? Sadly yes, the charismatic leadership style has a dark side, as we will show you later in this video. So, what is really charismatic leadership style? Charismatic leadership style is when a leader with charismatic qualities inspires others towards a greater purpose. This leadership style can be very inspirational and motivational for the followers. This can accelerate unity, productivity and engagement within a team and organization. However, charismatic leadership can also end up being a one-man show, with a leader disconnected from the realities of the organization. Even worse if the greater purpose or cause is a flawed or malicious one. A charismatic leader can drum up high levels of obedience which can actually be risky for the future of an organization. Let's get a quick background of the actual theory of charismatic leadership, shall we? There are two schools of thought when it comes to charismatic leadership. The older theory of Max Weber and the newer theory by Robert House. Max Weber created a definition of three leadership styles, charismatic, traditional and bureaucratic leadership. According to this model leaders could actually use all three styles, but in different proportions. The charismatic style was depending on the persona and personality of the leader to a very high extent. According to Weber, a charismatic leader would be perceived as extraordinarily gifted by the followers. Furthermore, the authority and legitimacy of the charismatic leader depended on the followers, or the believers. If the leader does not continue to prove worthy and of use, the legitimacy of the leader can go away. In short, the followers aren't willing to follow the leader anymore. According to Weber's definition, it is extremely difficult to arrange for proper succession planning for a charismatic leader. After all, how do you replace a leader, when the actual personality of the leader is the core of the leadership, not the skills or actions of that person. Robert J. House defines charismatic leadership a bit differently in his 1976 paper. This paper reviewed both traditional literature, as well as psychology literature on the topic of charisma. House defines charismatic leadership through the term charismatic leader. This is a person who has one, or more, of the following effects on followers to an unusually high degree. Trust in the similarity between the beliefs of the follower and the leader or the correctness of the leader's beliefs. Acceptance of the leader without questioning. Affection or willingness to obey the leader. Identifying with, as well as emulating the leader. Emotional involvement in the mission set out by the leader. Increased goals, and the feeling of being able to accomplish those goals. Instead of a belief in a gift, as outlined by Weber, House breaks this down to the personal characteristics and behavior of the charismatic leader. These are combined with the characteristics of the followers and some surrounding situational factors. The personal characteristics of the leader would be extreme self-confidence, dominance, and a conviction of the moral righteousness of his or her beliefs. So, where Weber focuses a lot on the personality and persona of the charismatic leader, House adds situational aspects and the characteristics of the followers to the mix, making charismatic leadership a bit more possible to understand and to undertake as a leadership style. Both theories agree on that conviction and beliefs play an important role in charismatic leadership. Before we get to the dark side of charismatic leadership, we will give you a better understanding of what the qualities of a charismatic leader is. After that, we will present some advantages and disadvantages with this leadership style. What you need to be considering at this point is, should you try to learn how to implement the charismatic leadership style? Don't make up your mind just yet, there are plenty of important facts for you to consider first. Charismatic leaders seem very different than average people. They shine bright when standing in a crowd and have a certain effect on people surrounding them. Charismatic leaders have presence and are simply good at influencing other people. Now, this is not an easy skill to learn. And it's even harder to master. So, what creates this effect? 
The following qualities are examples of what sets charismatic leaders apart from others. Number 1. Emotional Sensitivity and Control You may notice that a lot of charismatic leaders are capable of understanding other people's emotions, accurately and fast. After all, how will you charm your followers, if you don't understand their situations and their needs? Charismatic leaders also tend to exhibit their own emotions in a good way. They can exercise better control and better restrain over their emotions than others can. Empathy is incredibly important for the charismatic leader. Number 2. Presence. Charismatic leaders are known for their strong confidence. You'll find them communicating while confidently looking the other person in the eye. This not only reflects their confidence, but also makes others value their beliefs and opinions. They're also very good at listening. A charismatic leader will hear your opinions, understand your emotions, and exhibit great listening skills. Number 3. Effective Communicators It goes without saying that charismatic leaders are great communicators. They're confident while speaking, and possess great listening skills. All these qualities make the charismatic leader an expert in connecting with large amounts of people. These leaders master the art of putting the right words together, to convey their message. Number 4. Determination. Charismatic leaders are highly determined. They don't give up even when they have to face difficult struggles and challenges. They face their challenges head-on, instead of running away from them. Even when this means taking personal risks. Number 5. Having vision. With desire to make others believe. Passion, conviction, and belief, can build a lot of energy and belonging. Having the same vision, acts as super glue between a charismatic leader and his or her followers. In order to build passion and momentum in the group, the charismatic leader needs to be able to form a great vision for people to follow. A great charismatic leader also strongly believes in the followers and their ability to reach the goals of the group. So, to summarize, the qualities of a charismatic leader are, emotional sensitivity and control, presence, effective communication, determination, being a visionary, and desiring others to believe. We will soon elaborate on the dark side of charismatic leadership, and how you can become a charismatic leader. Next up are some advantages, and disadvantages of this leadership style. If you like this video, please support us by hitting the like button and subscribing to the Leadership Ahoy channel. It's time to look into the pros and cons of charismatic leadership. As with anything, charismatic leadership has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Although leaders following a charismatic style often act as a catalyst for change, they might not be the right fit for organizations that are based on rigid structures and processes. In fact, this leadership style has some potentially dangerous disadvantages. You need to be aware of these so you can avoid them. Here are some of the advantages of the charismatic leadership style. 1. It can inspire people to unite and work together for a common cause. 2. Organizations led by a charismatic leader, often show high levels of commitment and purpose. 3. When it comes to roles and organizational objectives. Charismatic leaders often provide high levels of clarity for the employees. 4. Being part of something bigger than yourself can accelerate productivity and engagement among team members. Now we come to the disadvantages of the charismatic leadership style. 1. An organization can be too closely associated with, or even locked to the persona of the leader. This makes succession difficult or even impossible. 2. Charismatic leaders can overestimate themselves, and their own importance. They can even end up believing that they are above everything else. This could result in violation of the law, moral codes or simply not listening to anyone but themselves. 3. If the vision or cause is a bad one, it can lead to the demise of the organization. 4. A high level of obedience limits transparency and inspiration among followers. People might simply agree to whatever the charismatic leader says. This can be very risky. At this point, we want you to let the cons sink in. The disadvantages are serious. All leadership styles have advantages, as well as disadvantages. But the disadvantages of charismatic leadership can be dangerous and even risk damaging the organization for the future. Few other leadership styles have such devastating potential disadvantages. Now it is time to tell you about the potentially dark side of charismatic leadership. After that, we will give some pointers on what aspects of charismatic leadership you should make your own. There are some great aspects of it, for sure. We'll also give some suggestions on other, 
related leadership styles, that have visionary aspects, but without the risks of charismatic leadership. The Dark Side of Charismatic Leadership It's important to mention that things could take an ugly turn when it comes to charismatic leaders. Charisma could be a slippery slope, with a very dark side in some occasions. Essentially, the positive traits of a charismatic leader could be used in a very negative way, just as they can be used in a good way. With strong charismatic leaders, the followers tend to want to emulate and raise the leader to an abnormal level. The leader can almost become prophet-like. The leader can then lose all proportion and believe that he or she is above anything else, including other people and basic ethics. This in turn can lead to some bad deeds, worst case involving some of the followers as well. If this happens, a cult-like behavior has been established. The charismatic leader has essentially become an autocratic, despotic leader. As the charismatic leader starts to get more and more big-headed, he or she will stop to accept being questioned. After showing this behavior, followers that kept the leader anchored in reality, will stop pushing back to challenge the reason in things. Transparency and feedback will reduce, and the followers will transform into an agreeable herd. Fewer and fewer will say no, and more and more will say yes, louder and louder. All fueled by the leader's charisma and the situational aspects of the following. When the movement or organization has become a strict one-man show, initiative will die. No one can come up with a good idea, or suggest a change. Except for the great leader of course. As the circus goes on, the followers will soon find that the movement that started with them and their charismatic leader, has slowly turned into something else. Something that is completely fixated on the leader. Eventually and hopefully, this means the followers will stop believing. In the end, they will stop contributing or even abandon the group and the now destructive leader. At several points in this chain of events, a leader with dark behaviors, or illicit motives, can put some very bad things into motion. Charles Manson is an example of that, and that movement sadly resulted in people dying before it was put to a stop. Now, that was an example of the dark side of a charismatic leader. Let's not leave it at that. Instead, let's look at a few very positive examples of charismatic leaders in history, before we present a recommendation on how you can use the good part of charismatic leadership in order to become a better leader. Positive example number one. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was born in 1929 and soon started following in the footsteps of his father who was a Baptist minister. Dr. King embarked on a civil rights career, and led the bus boycott the night that Rosa Parks was arrested. His powerful speeches and peaceful protests coupled with his vision made him very popular. Martin Luther King's speeches were in fact so powerful that they ignited a movement for equal rights. One famous speech that he delivered on August 28, 1963, attracted more than 200,000 people. Dr. King played a crucial role in the enactment of the Civil Rights Act in the United States a year later from when he delivered this famous speech. Positive example number two. Sir Winston Churchill. Born in 1974, Winston Churchill worked as a war correspondent during World War I. This polished and improved his communication skills for what was to come. Churchill was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during World War II. History remembers him for his powerful public speaking skills that would inspire large amounts of listeners. He is often quoted and is well known for several sentences that gathered millions of people. Now it's time to wrap things up, and give you some advice on how you can implement charismatic leadership skills, in your own leadership. For starters, the charismatic leadership style is not just about charisma. It's essentially about using, only charisma as your central leadership tool. Furthermore, it is not a style you use every now and then, it is a long-term behavior of a person. When personal traits or skills become the center of leadership, so many other things have to stand back. We strongly suggest that you avoid using the charismatic leadership style, and rather consider using visionary leadership or transformational leadership. Those styles have several of the good aspects of charismatic leadership, without the focus on persona and risk for autocracy. Also, remember that in modern days, a leader is recommended to use several leadership styles depending on the circumstances, and not simply focus on just one, single, behavioral style. You can find links to information on transformational leadership and visionary leadership in the description text of this video. Now, let's go into how you can become a better leader by improving your charisma. I strongly believe that charisma is of great importance to a leader. A total lack of charisma often affects communication negatively. Similarly, trust and inspiration would suffer if there is a lack of charisma. Being charismatic often makes people feel more comfortable, safer and more important, 
all good things that a leader would wish for his or her followers to feel. If you are charismatic, there is simply a better chance that people will remember you and what you had to say. Again, these are important things for a leader. So, even if the charismatic leadership style isn't for you, be sure to not underestimate the importance of charisma and being charismatic. This will enable you to become a better leader regardless of which leadership styles you deploy and implement. So, how can you develop and improve your charisma? Here are a few pointers. We recommend that you study these areas in more detail and create an improvement plan for yourself. 1. Improve your emotional intelligence. 2. Improve your presence and body language. 3. Improve your communication skills, both spoken and written communication. Don't forget about the listening part. Figure out how to implement the concept of active listening. 4. Be authentic. Honestly care about other people. Be interested in them and what they think. If you manage to improve yourself in these aspects, you will for sure be perceived as a more charismatic individual. This in turn, will improve your impact as a leader. I'd like to thank you for watching this video on the charismatic leadership style. If you enjoyed it, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel Leadership Ahoy! For more information on different leadership styles and leadership advice, check out our other videos or go to our webpage at www.leadershipahoy.com. Good luck with developing your leadership further.